tonight on Our Back Truckers. Wait, this is not Our Back Truckers. This is Road Train Adventures. Tonight on Road Train Adventures, we see what's like loading a trailer and what's involved. See some of the roads that I drive on, what I do at night time, where I eat, see some wildlife, see some sights along the way, and the best of all, maybe we're going to see some farm life and what happens on a farm. Well, unfortunately, we've got a few tyres that need replacing, so we're here at the tyre shop fixing those tyres up before we can get loaded. So here we are, let's get done. All right, we're here at the pickup address, and uh, first things first, this place usually has a few deliveries and farms to go to, so gotta go inside, check out the paperwork, and then um, we can work out which load to put where. So first things first, let's go in. Morning, John, how are you? Hello. Um, so Back what have again. We've got, we've got uh, full road train today. Right. So the first drop is at Ilfracone. Yep. Um, second drop is at Longreach, and the third drop is at Mudaburra. Alright. All good? Alright, Santa, you can run, I'll get to it. Okay. Excellent. Safe travels. Thanks. Thanks, John. Well, now that that's loaded, uh, let's put two. Uh, we're going to use this bit of wire here, it's a long bit of wire. We're going to push this through each of the rolls, and uh, that's how we pull out, pull the strap through. Well, we're here at Abernethy Road Hookup. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to show you hooking up because, well, it's a very busy place, this. And of course, if I set up the cameras and move and stuff around, I'm just gonna be in the way. So, um, we're all loaded, uh, connected up, uh, legs up, lights are working. Uh, so, good thing is you got to see loading this load. Um, now, the last thing is just to take the road train signs off the front and uh, we're out of here. Say so goodbye to Perth. Well, I pulled up near Southern Cross. It's the end of the day. I'm feeling pretty tired, so um, that'll do for today. Um, we've had a pretty good run. Loaded both trailers. Made uh, a decent amount of kilometers, so that's it. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. Here we are. It's six o'clock in the morning and uh, about seven degrees here at Southern Cross. So what do I have for breakfast? I'm not one to cook, so I have the old, so I can get them out. Uh, wheat mix is my um, breakfast. 
So as I said, lots of people will have a, um, a gas cooker and cook up a storm and yeah, that's, uh, that's not me. I'll, uh, I'll buy most of my food, so I do carry some milk and uh, now my breakfast. So anyway, we'll have that and oh, my voice is a bit croaky, but I guess that's in the morning. Uh, we'll have this breakfast and we'll get going to go around to the BP and get a coffee. One of the many things that we do is uh, get fuel and here we are at the IOR at the Wichimulta getting a lot of fuel. My guess is we're probably going to get about 1500 litres. Um, I was about, about a little over a quarter of a tank already so uh, we can get up to 2000 litres. That's when I'm really empty. Anyway, so getting a bit of fuel on a beautiful day. Uh, it's probably about maybe 10 degrees out here and yes I do have short sleeves and short time but in the truck it's beautiful so I just wear what I, what's comfortable. Well here we are at one of the signs that heaps of tourists and caravans and every time I pass here there's always somebody taking a photo of the sign so here we are I thought I'd be one of those people and show you the sign. Right, let's take it up in the sky and uh, have a look at the sky. You can see it is a long straight stretch of road. Now the good thing about it, out here, there's not many car and sorry, not many kangaroos out here on the road. Well, this section anyway, but get further up, uh, it's like kangaroo alley. All right, let's uh, get back in the truck and move it on. OnlyTrucks.com.au, putting you in contact with thousands of trucks and dealers around Australia on one easy to use website. So let's pick a category, say Prime Movers, and uh, I love this feature. You can compare trucks, so let's pick three trucks to compare, and then click on the compare button, and you'll notice that it puts it on one page, and you can compare the specifications for those three trucks. Another great feature is the ability to see on the screen in the blue writing how much you would spend per week if you were to get finance. And finance is available through Credit One. If you've got a truck you're selling, you can list with us for a little as $9.90. And you can get all this at onlytrucks.com.au and there's a link in the description. About time for dinner, so here we are at uh, OTR BP Port Augusta and my favourite restaurant, which is uh, Rock in the Box. I usually have that, I usually try to time it so I can get here. I usually have some whole plate of prawns and noodles and stuff like that. So, this is it a uh, bit, of, bit of dinner, and then we'll head off again. I must say also there's been a lot more caravans all over Australia. Everywhere you look there's caravans everywhere. Now it may be good for us Australian economy and the tourism especially, but it's not good for us truckies. The old law book. Well, this is something that we all have to do. Um, whether you agree or not, it's um, something that we have to do. A lot of people call this the book of lies, and um, I tend to agree. Um, you know, you've got, you've got to get the job done, and there's many times when, you know, this says you should take a break when you don't need to take a break, and other times, oh, it just doesn't work out anyway. 
So if you've ever got logbook fines and stuff like that, I'm going to make a video about how to, you know, I don't know, it's not so much about getting out of logbook fines, but uh, how to beat the logbook fines. So let's just take one of the fine. I've done this. One of the fines that lots of people give you, um, coppers in, and, and HVR, RMS or whatever, you know, at the front of the book it says that you must fill out your base, where your base address and your paperwork goes. Um, you don't need to. Unless your base address changes in section 295, section 2, D and E, and it clearly says in black and white that you must only fill that out when, and you use that use when. So I've already been done by this and I took that to court and beat that of course because you don't need to do it. So there's many, many fines. I'm gonna make a whole video about what to do with different fines. I'm gonna go through state by state. So stick around for that one. there's the first trailer line loaded and uh, just give you a bit of an aerial view of what the farm looks like. single lane roads if any oncoming cars are coming they're supposed to pull over and let us road trains stay on the road
Well, after unloading all that, it's time for a bit of lunch and then um, have a look around the property. The farmhouse was established in the early 1900s, so it's really been maintained. There have been some additions to the place, but um, as you can see, it is really maintained well. The week that I was delivering is shearing time, so they're in the process of just cleaning things out, getting ready for the shearers, and it may not look too much, but uh, this was built in the 1900s, remember, and um, the shearers, they love it. All right, it is a good day when we finish unloading. Uh, here we are at Mudderborough. If you haven't been to Mudderborough, Mudderborough is uh, northwest Queensland. It's a beautiful little place. Not sure if we've got time to show you, but uh, now we've just been down dirt road. So what do we do when we finish the dirt roads? We get this hammer and we bang on these wheels. So we're basically just looking to get rid of this, see the dust that falls off. We don't want to damage the rims, so that's not the idea. But uh, of course trailer rims are less problem. I mean, but look at that. Now all of that dust falls on the road. So you've got to get rid of that. Look at that. Beautiful dust. Beautiful little dust. And you just go around and um, keep doing this until my camera just fills up the dirt. Oh yeah, it's getting nice and dusty. All right, we'll continue uh, on the other side, but without the camera because it's uh, it's getting a bit dusty. One other thing, uh, I found out where we're going. We are going to Burke, so now we're empty. We're going to go to Burke and pick up a load of or a road train load of cotton. I haven't been to this place before, so I'm not sure whether they'll let us in with the camera. Uh, if, if they do let us, I will show you how, um, how we load that. And unfortunately, we have to tarp as well. <laughs> uh, a good tarp job looks good, but it's, uh, it's a bit of effort. So let's get going and um, head on down to Burke.